Hey, Coach Sean here. Welcome to another follow along workout where the goal is always to keep you strong, functional, and healthy so you can do the things that you want with your body and in your life. Today's holiday Monday. We're going to have a short and effective workout. I got Heather that's going to help do this with me. We are going to get thoroughly warmed up. Phase number one, joint mobility, and then a little bit of core work. Then we're gonna get right into three drills that are for time. They will be short and intense, okay? So I hope you enjoy this. Starting with phase number one, our joint mobility right now. Stand up nice and tall. Start with your head and neck and look side to side. Stuff and chin to chest and look straight up. And a little bit of assisted side neck stretch. So gently pull on the head. Don't go into any pain. little assisted stretch of the side of the neck muscles here. Good work. Okay, working our way down. Shoulder circles. Forearm stays straight and big circles backwards. Good stuff. Same thing for the other side. Arms straight, backward circles. stuff. Okay, a little bit of a golf swing. So loosen up the arms and legs, pivot on the back foot. Big rotation, opening up the chest and the hips. Good stuff. Down the hip circles. Big circles with the pelvis, nice and smooth. And switch. Excellent. Almost done. Feet together, a little toe touch, then reach for the ceiling. And one more. 
Okay, last one here. Widen up the stance, adductor stretch. We're gonna hinge back, reach down, stand up nice and tall. Just use whatever range your body will allow, side to side. Stand up nice and tall. And one more each side. Great work, let's get flat on our back and move on to phase two of the warm up. All right, lay flat on your back and listen to my cues. We're gonna get into phase two of the warm up, the core activation. So with or without a weight, Heather's using a kettlebell, we're going to do some pullovers. Do a few reps, Heather, please. The legs and the arms come up together and they lower together. All right, so that's what it looks like. We're gonna start this in a, in a few minutes. This is great for the core. After about 10 reps, we're gonna hold it up top, and then I'm gonna cue you to lower the legs one at a time for a bit. Okay, so this is really good core activation. Then we're gonna get into some bridges after that. So starting with, yeah, that's right, exactly. That's the last part. We're gonna do two rounds like this. So with or without your weight, your arms are overhead, your legs are straight, Brace that midsection and start bringing them up towards the ceiling right now. Go for it. One, nice. Good control. Two, we're gonna go all the way to 10. Breathe out as they come up. That's three. Four, looking good. Five, we got five more. Here we go. That's it, crush those handles if you are using a kettlebell. This works just as good without a weight. Just a few more. Last one here, let's hold. Yeah, and then lower the legs one at a time. One, two, we'll go five reps like this. One, two, one, and three. One, four, last ones. Good job. Okay, ditch the weight. Knees bent, feet flat. Drive the heels into the ground. 10 bridges. That's it. One, two, squeeze the glutes. Three, pushing that floor away. Four, five, five more. You got it, looking good. Two more. Excellent, short, short break. We're gonna do one more round like that. Again, this could be with or without the weight. Set it up, legs are straight, arms are straight. Anytime you're ready, bring them up towards the sky. 10 reps, one. Three, good, bracing the core, breathing out as they come up. Looking good. Five more. Almost done. Nice. And this one we're gonna pause up there. Hold, 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 lower the legs one at a time. That's it, one. Two, good. Three, couple more. And last ones. Excellent, ditch the weight, 10 bridges. There you go, pushing that floor away with the heels. Two, three, stretching out the hips. Five more. Last two. Good job, relax. Good job on the core activation. Go ahead and get up on your feet and listen up as I explained to you what drill number one is all about. 
Check out the short demonstration for drill number one. We're gonna start with two hand swings, the four to one ratio. The first four reps are going up to chest height. She's driving hard with her heels, standing up tall. On the fifth rep, goes all the way up. Now the whole time, the core stays tight, glutes are engaged, and the feet are flat on the ground. Four to one, beauty. You do that three times, and then after that, ditch your weight, and we're getting into single leg balance, hinging back, extending that leg, coming up into a knee drive, staying tight. Right, five each leg. And we're gonna do this for three minutes. This is a three minute challenge, as many rounds as you can, only good reps matter. Thank you very much, excellent. We're gonna start the drill really soon here. <laughs> and three, two, one, here we go. Four to one, swings. Nice, 15 reps like that. Good work. Same mechanics as regular swings, tight grip on the handle. Excellent work. Put the kettlebell down, get into your balance. Take your time with this, root the foot to the floor, hinge back, kick out, up with the knee drive. Good. Five and five. Excellent work. Looking good. Good control. Always keeping that chest high, back flat. Engage your core. Very mindful movement here. Excellent. Good stuff. Five each leg. Very challenging, this is all good. If you need to reset the odd time, that's fine. Five and five. Think about that glute when you extend the leg and then think about the abs when you bring the knee up. Good. You're doing great. Excellent work. And we get right back into the swings whenever you're able to. Four to one, here we go. Nice, driving with the heel, extending the hips, locking out the knees. Four to one, beautiful, excellent. Perfect, looking good. We got one more minute of this drill. That's it. Back to the balance. That's it. Always focus on that core. Good controlled movement. Got about 30 seconds. Good control. And we might as well finish the five on this side here. We'll be a little bit over three minutes, but that's okay. Great work. That's okay, there you go. Excellent. Check out this short demonstration of what drill two is all about. A five minute challenge involving kettlebell snatch, some lateral crawls, and the high bridge. I'm gonna give you a few different options. Check out this demonstration, and then I'm starting the drill immediately. Okay, here we go. Using a kettlebell you're comfortable with, we're gonna start with the snatches. Five each arm. 
pull and punch, hinge back, drive hard with the legs, and shoot the arm up to the sky, lining up the bicep with the ear. We're doing five each side, and then get into the side crawl, four or five paces one way and back is option one. Option two is at the end of your side crawl, you're gonna do this high bridge where you kick one leg through and drive hard with the one heel, supporting yourself with one arm like that. Of course, we get back up on our feet and return to the snatches again. This is a five minute challenge. Choose your weight carefully. Only good reps matter.
Go ahead and pause the video if you need some extra time to recover. Other than that, listen up as I tell you what drill three is all about. Check out this short demonstration for the final drill today, which is going to be the floor press and the static row. So rolling towards your kettlebell and safely on the back, press it up, keeping the wrist straight, tight grip. And we're gonna get into the bridge before we press, exactly. Hold those glutes and core in place and then get into 10 floor press. That forearm stays straight the entire time. You're actively pulling it down and then driving it up. Good demonstration, perfect. So you're gonna do 10 repetitions each side. After that, we're gonna get up on our feet, get into the bent over row position and we are gonna statically hold that kettlebell in the end range, keeping the chest high, engaging the back, keeping the shoulder down far from the ear, and really engaging those back muscles. 20 second hold. Excellent work. Okay, set yourself up for the drill. Get back on your, uh, flat on your back. Here we go, roll towards the kettlebell, tight grip on the handle, wrist stays straight. Push the floor away, get into the bridge position, core's locked in place, 10 repetitions, go for it. One, two, excellent. Three, breathe out as you press. Four, five, halfway. Five, four, three, two, last one. Excellent work. Go ahead and switch sides. Roll towards the weight. Wrist is nice and straight. Get into that bridge. And 10 press. One, two, three, looking good. Four, focus on the core. Five, five more. One, two, Three, four, last one, five, great. Ditch the weight, we'll get up on our feet. Stagger the stance here, chest high, back flat. Pull the kettlebell back towards your hip and hold right there, excellent. Forcing that chest high, looking good. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, excellent. Same thing for the other side. Chest high, back flat, go ahead, hold right there. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. This is the last round. Get flat on your back. Here we go. Roll towards the kettlebell, tight grip on the handle, wrist stays straight. Push the floor away, get into the bridge position, core's locked in place, 10 repetitions, go for it. One, two, excellent. Three, breathe out as you press. Four, five, halfway. Five, four, three, Two, last one. Excellent work. Go ahead and switch sides. Roll towards the weight. Wrist is nice and straight. Get into that bridge. And 10 press. One, two, three, looking good. Four, focus on the core. Five, five more. One, Two, three, four, last one, five, great. Ditch the weight, we'll get up on our feet. Stagger the stance here, chest high, back flat. Pull the kettlebell back towards your hip and hold right there, excellent. Forcing that chest high, looking good. 
10 seconds. Three, two, one, excellent. Same thing for the other side. Chest high, back flat, go ahead, hold right there. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Way to go on finishing that workout. Those drills were not easy, so give yourself a good pat on the back. Enjoy the rest of your holiday Monday. If you're feeling a jog, a light walk, or a stretch right now, go ahead and do that. We will see you later in the week. Coach Sean telling you to be strong, confident, and capable. But as always, kind, compassionate, and happy. See you soon.